the Earth is a huge magnet with its own magnetic field. This field is strong enough to make another magnet turn if it's free to move and will always turn to point north. In this episode, I am going to show you how to construct a compass or you can build it with me at the same time. Here's what you will need. A styrofoam pad, uh, a needle, a glass of water, a toothpick, uh, some tape, a magnet, modeling clay, a circle cutter. Or compass, circle cutter or compass, if you have one, a plastic container. Use the circle cutter to cut a round disc out of the styrofoam pad, which in which we already have. You just have to carefully cut out if you are going to use a compass for this. 2. Stick a blob of modeling clay in the middle at the bottom of the container. Ball. Push the toothpick upright in it. Just like that. Stroke one end of the magnet along the needle. About 30 times. In the same direction. Or if you have a magnetizer like this, it will be a lot easier to magnetize the needle. When the needle is magnetized, one end gains a north pole in which we are about to find out a bit later. The North Pole of Earth's magnetic field attracts the, the North Pole of the needle. 4. Take the needle to the disc. Rest the disc on the toothpick in the center of the disc as much as possible. Okay. Slowly fill the container with water. When the water reaches the disc, it will float and turns. Easy. 
one end of the needle will point north. Just like the compass needle does. Turning, 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 turning. I like how it's still connected to the needle. Barely connects to the needle. To prove it that it's pointing north, I asked Mommy's compass on her cell phone to prove that it's pointing north. Zero degrees is what's showing on the compass. How cool is that? There you are guys. You're very uncompass. Congratulations on making your first one. And as always, we thank you so much for watching. We will see each other again next time in the next Saturday Science Experiment. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And it's free. Bye!